Hey everyone, if you're watching me, my name is Dominic Wick and I'm a 32 year old dairy farmer in Northeast Oklahoma and we milk around 340 um, Holstein and Holstein Jersey Cross dairy cows and raise all of our own young stock and uh, try to grow as much of our feed as possible. Uh, we grow uh, wheat, uh, some alfalfa, uh, some corn, some sorghum, uh, and then we also uh, just pasture grasses, so Bermuda grass, fescue, some John's grass. Um, and we grow and bale on pasture, and uh, we do most of our own manure and uh, fertilizer applications. And uh, yeah, that's kind of some of what we do. Um, typically, we're third generation farm. Um, my parents were farmer. My mother's still alive. Uh, my father passed away, but they were farmers. They took over this farm in 1996. It was already a, a working dairy farm at the time, milking 150 cows. Where, like I said, we're now at about 340, and that's kind of where we maxed out at capacity. We like to say, um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, just uh, send me some comments or um, message me, and uh, I'll try to answer as much as I can. Um, we milk with um, six Laley A4 robots, which we put in in 2019, and we, our feeding system is a Laley Vector uh, automatic feeding system that has two mixing and feeding robots. Um, I've shown some videos of that in the, in the feed kitchen where everything is loaded up. Um, so yeah, trying to get to where I can explain a little more so you know, everyone kind of has an idea a little more of what's actually going on on the farm on a daily basis. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just send me some comments. Um, and then, yeah, right now I'm just in the tractor putting out slurry, and while that's happening, since I have a GPS system right now that's doing the steering for me, I'm actually filling out uh, paperwork for um, our co-op that shows that we're complying with um, doing the proper standards of care for our animals and that everyone has been properly trained to take care of those, all of our vaccination protocols and antibiotic usages, how we're record keeping everything, um, that we have a valid veterinary patient client relationship so that, you know, if there's any any, any of question of, hey, did we sell an animal? Is there any withdrawals? We can go back, we've got records of it, we can verify and say, hey, you know, no, this animal, uh, should not have gone to slaughter, or yes, this hand was clear to slaughter. They were past the withdrawal days, and so on. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've got a whole, whole binder here to work on right now, but I mean, I'm sure all the other dairies have to do it as well. It's um, just a necessary um, part of the part of being a dairy farmer anymore is just having all the paperwork to back up and verify everything that you've done. Um, and I mean, it is important, but. Not the most fun job in the world. Anyway, if you have any questions, just uh, send me some comments in the, in the comment section of the video. Hopefully, YouTube lets you guys comment. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. If you have any questions, just let me know.